never been to a gender reveal, so I'm so excited. Show me your ears! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm kind of scared, but it's the moment of truth. this vlog pretty late so I know it looks like we just woke up but it's actually 12 30 it's a rainy gloomy day I am not dressed Juliana's dress I've been up since 6 30 Juliana got up around 7 and that's about when everyone else got up and I put Juliana down for her first nap which she gave me some trouble but she only slept for like an hour so it didn't really give me a ton of time to do what I wanted to do clean up the house, get dressed. This is where we're at. I put in a grocery order last night, came up with my meal plan for the week, and that should be coming probably within the next hour or so. Juliana, I have set up over in her play corner with a little activity, so hopefully that keeps her occupied enough so that I can finish my coffee. <laughs> Look who decided to come on over here. What are you showing me, your spoon? What you got? This is my makeshift little, I don't know, sensory activity, whatever. I threw some cereal in a <laughs> in a dish and gave her a couple of spoons so she could just play around in there. Lately I've been taking her outside to play in the little kiddie pool I got her because her old one, which was a lot smaller, was so dirty because we were dumb and never like put it away over the winter. So it just sat out there and collected the most disgusting layer of grossness. So I had to just throw it away, couldn't clean it, and ordered this one. So she's been using it a lot. It keeps her occupied for long periods of time. She gets sun, she gets to play in the water, but it is not a pool kind of day. So I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this girl. I think she's been teething, but so she's been a little extra cranky which is why I'm letting her use her binky, not during nap time. She just needs a little extra soothing these days. Juliana, come on, let me see it. Oh, you want me to eat it? Okay, thank you. Oh. It's so hard to get on her level with the camera because all she wants to do is touch the camera. So I put on Peppa Pig for her because I can't stand most of the other children's shows. So Peppa Pig is really cute. I actually really enjoy it in the background, but this girl still has absolutely no interest in television. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. I mean, there are some moments where I wish she would just watch a freaking show for 10, 15 minutes just so I can not have her trying to crawl back in my womb at all times. Oh, thank you. While we're talking about Juliana, we have a trip coming up. Now, we never really go anywhere, but we are gonna go fly to Indiana to see Vince's family. His little sister is expecting her first child, so everyone's getting together. They're gonna have a gender reveal, which I've never been to a gender reveal, so I'm so excited. It should be so much fun, but we're flying there June 4th. We're gonna be there through June 11th. And I'm <laughs> I'm 
a little nervous. I don't know how Juliana is gonna do on the plane. She's never been on a plane. Actually, Julian has never been on a plane. She really hasn't been anywhere new. She's home. She's been to my dad's a couple times. You know, we go to the store, but she really hasn't been on anything remotely like an airport. I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm gonna need for her, what to do if she freaks out, or how to keep her in the seat with me. It's only a two hour flight, thank God, because anything more, I don't know. Hopefully she'll do well, but that's what's going on in a couple weeks, and I'm gonna film. Yeah, yeah, she's behind the camera trying to mess with it. I'm gonna film a, a video at some point. I'm gonna be doing a lot of filming this week because we're gonna be gone for like a whole week and I want to get ahead so that I have content for when I'm gone. And one of the things I wanna film is me packing for the trip, what I'm gonna pack for her. I don't even know what to bring. It's gonna be interesting and because we're flying, we're not gonna have a car seat, we're not gonna have anything. I'm gonna vlog definitely us packing and just like showing you what the heck I'm gonna do. I'll probably vlog a little bit uh, of the travel part of it. I don't know how much I'll be able to, to vlog once we're actually there because I'm not bringing my camera. I'll probably vlog a little bit on my phone. Just I'll just like put in, I'll show you guys some snippets of, of the trip. Yeah, so that should be interesting. Stay tuned for that video. You're rolling around in the coffee you made me spill. Yeah. It's gonna be rough because we can't go outside and she can't sit still for two seconds and I don't can't occupy her <laughs> for very long in here. I'm just making Juliana her lunch. She doesn't usually like to eat right when she wakes up, so I usually give her like 30 minutes just to play and do whatever. We keep it real simple over here for toddler meals because I don't have the bandwidth to think of elaborate meals, but it's pretty healthy. It's just some organic turkey breast and give her a mandarin and that's basically what she's gonna eat because she snacks throughout the day. So I just like to make sure she gets some fruit and some protein. So you guys know I love sharing my mom brain moments because I have a lot of them. This is one I have quite frequently. Vince will tell you, he makes fun of me. It hasn't happened in a while, I was doing pretty good. But, I was making myself a second cup of coffee and put the coffee grounds in the little pot and everything. And then forgot to actually put it in the machine. So I just made myself a delicious cup of creamer and hot water. Let me just say, it's very awkward going out on your doorstep in your robe and like you realize all your neighbors are out. I mean, I have a pack of uh, paper towels downstairs, but that will wait. My battery just died, so I had to change it. Here's what I got for the week. Let me go through it and explain. So the majority of my groceries are usually dinner stuff and the odds and ends that we ran out of during the week. So first I needed more bread and I just got one loaf. I did the David's, I'm sorry, the Dave's killer bread again. I tried it last week. We like it. It is on the expensive side, but just for the sake of me not having to put a lot of thought into it, I just got another one for this week since I only buy one at a time. Figured might as well get the good stuff. I'm trying out this. So it's just dairy-free coconut milk yogurt. I've never tried it. I really only got these for smoothies. I usually get this, and I, I got it again, obviously, because I don't know how I'm gonna like this. Salad dressing, because I like salads for lunch sometimes. Stocked up on eggs. We go through a lot of eggs in this house, so got a couple dozen eggs. I had to get two different kinds, though, because they only would let me get like one of each. Like they still have a limit. Got bananas. I really thought I was ordering a single banana, but they gave me the whole bunch. Lunch meat, didn't get the organic one this time, but this one is the next best thing. It tastes, it's so good. It's so freaking good. So if I don't get the organic, then this is what I usually go for. Got some more cheese. I'm not buying the shredded cheese anymore. This just tastes a whole lot fresher. It melts easier. 
and I prefer to just grate it or slice it. So I'm sticking with the black cheese for now. Got two avocados because I am making, I call it Mexican chicken and the recipe calls for guacamole. So just some organic blueberries for Juliana. I like to stock up on beans. I love chickpeas for various things. Sometimes I just toss them in a salad. I've even made quesadillas with them. So I'll just like mash them up and put them in a quesadilla with cheese. It's so good. Uh, I got a thing of black beans just to have on hand. We needed more oil. Brussels sprouts, that's going with a dinner tonight as a vegetable. I got chicken, a lot of organic chicken. So I got two of those. Most of my meals this week are chicken. I think one includes beef and then another one salmon, which brings me to the salmon. I got two fillets of these. I was able to find the um, wild caught salmon. This is gonna be the side with the Mexican chicken. Um, I We tried it last week, I think it was. It might've been like two weeks ago when I first did um, like my whatever experimental organic shopping. But this is so good. I actually like it better than regular mac and cheese, even more than the organic mac and cheese. The, the flavor and the cheese that they use, it just tastes more like cheese. I don't know how to explain it, but it's really good. So that's gonna be a side. Yeah, I got a big thing of, what is the baguette? What is this called? Soft French bread. Attempt to make like a panini for dinner one of these nights and they were gonna have some soup. We got some hard shell tacos. We got these because I asked Vince you know, if there was a meal in particular he wanted me to cook this week and he said he wants chicken tacos with hard tacos. So that's what we're doing. Some odds and ends, whipped cream. I'm using less whipped cream. I'm trying to like not go crazy with the sugar as much because I was like, you guys know I was drinking those, those like makeshift lattes with the whipped cream and the caramel drizzle. They're delicious and I will do it from time to time. And I think that's basically it. I'm able to stick to this new budget and get the better quality food items because I'm not over shopping. I'm just shopping for the week, keeping it simple and it's allowing me to be able to make some different choices. I'm gonna put these away and then hopefully get myself some lunch. Oh, real quick before I put it away. Oops, almost spilled my coffee again. What I would like to say is that I, so all of this, so this is like dinner for the whole week plus some extra stuff that we needed. Hi, Julian. The reason why I said five days instead of seven is because typically on the weekends, I don't make dinner, I'm at work, Saturday nights and then Sundays, sometimes I cook, um, but usually we'll just use like leftovers or we'll do like takeout. So we do now that we're not ordering out as much because I'm spending all that money on groceries, but we do allow ourselves to like treat ourselves like on the weekend. So sa Saturday, Saturday, since I work until like 8 p.m., we'll either order something or just eat something that we already have. So that makes it easier. I told you in the last video that I spent at Whole Foods, I spent $160-ish for the groceries for the week. And then this time it was at Target and this was also a little less. This was like $155. So it's good to know that like I'm roughly sticking to that price point. I was talking so much and my coffee got cold. and I am still not dressed. But while Juliana is upstairs harassing her brother right now, I'm gonna take my vitamins. <sighs> I can never get this open. Oh my God. I did attempt to make myself lunch, which was, I used some of the leftover chickpea rice and like made like a salad with some of the rice and actual chickpeas. There was a lot of chickpeas. It was delicious, but Juliana ate part of it, she wouldn't leave me alone. And it wasn't very filling because I didn't have very much salad. Maybe I should make a smoothie to test out the new, that coconut yogurt. Two sheets of theirs. What are you doing? The winner is Bounty, one and done. Uh, 
of truth. Aww. It's good. You definitely get a hint of coconut. You want a smoothie? Here you go. You got it? Is it good? So I'm still not dressed, <laughs> clearly. I will get dressed though once she goes down for her second nap. But for the time being, I'm gonna finish my lunch part two and chill with her. And then once I get her down for her nap, we'll chat again. Okay, so my bed is done. I just needed to at least attempt to semi-make it. It just makes me feel better about life. <laughs> so Juliana is down for her quiet time. I don't think she's going to nap, but at least she's in her crib and chilling. She's talking to herself right now. If she falls asleep, great. If not, at least it buys me a couple of minutes to get myself dressed. And I got a couple of chores on my to-do list that I need to do. <laughs> throw on some sh jean shorts because it literally looked like I wasn't wearing pants with my other ones and it just looked weird so at least now I look somewhat presentable <laughs> stressful because I can't count on that time like I can't ever count on okay I have an hour or I have an hour and a half to get things done there's no consistency there's n especially right now I'm not a fan of it but back to my chores so I just threw her laundry in I'll put mine in after hers but what I have done to stay semi-organized with our chores. I just put the days up here. I put the chores here and then I just assigned the person who is responsible for that chore on any given day. So today is Monday. Julian, he's Jay obviously, he's going to sweep the floors and mop the floors after dinner and he will also be responsible for taking out the trash. I will, it's my laundry day so I'm doing laundry and then I'm going to vacuum upstairs once Juliana gets up from her nap and that will be all that I really have to get done today other than my typical doing lovely dishes and stuff like that and you know it's the same thing for every day so that it's not so overwhelming for one person especially me we just divide it up so that's how I'm doing it I am a generally organized person but this is just taking it a step further and it's really really helpful we've been doing it for a little over a week now and it's working well <laughs> She had actually gone to sleep and now she's dressed in a diaper. She completely took off her sleep sack and she's just having a party in there. Okay, so as I suspected, she did not nap. In fact, she just took off her, her uh, she just like stripped down to her diaper and was just hanging out. So she finally started whining. I got her. Can you say hi? Hey. Are you recording? Can you say hi? Say hi. <laughs> okay, so I want to show you guys. Actually, the cutest thing I want to show you real quick. I don't know if she'll do it for the camera since like 
she is a little self-conscious. Since she was eight or nine months old, I've been trying to teach her like her nose, her ears, obviously that young, they don't know, but I was just trying. And she finally, at 16 months, is finally getting it. So she knows <laughs> where her nose is and she knows where her ears, Vince taught her her ears like recently, I don't even know that. Juliana, where's your nose? <laughs> And then she'll keep doing it because she knows I tickle her. <gasps> There's your nose. <laughs> Where's your ears? Where's your ears? No, that's your nose. <laughs> Show me your ears. <laughs> Where's your ears? <laughs> Where's your ears? That's your <laughs> she knows how to do her ears. She just refuses. <laughs> Juliana. Juliana, come here. Come here, Juliana. Okay, it's like way too dark in here. It is finally time to turn the light on. So I'm gonna end it here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.